Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time begun, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary in Quezon City. Today is Monday of the fifth week of Lent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Don Dion Soriano, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Holy Spirit will now begin. Please stand. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden, and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things 
with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer. As she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel, the elders said, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown with evil with age. Now you have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty. Although the Lord says, The innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you your head, for the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear they yielded to you. But the daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head, for the angel of God awaits with a sword to cut you in two so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, Blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders for their own words, for by their own words Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Even though I walk in dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Besides restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. 
with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. We stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, glory and praise to you, O Christ. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord but rather in his conversion, that he may live. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus strengthened up and said to her, Woman, where are, they, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If the Gospel story and the first reading were presented as a YouTube vlog, I am confident that it would attract quite a few harsh comments, mainly targeting the woman in the Gospel and Susanna in the first reading while overlooking the man's uh, culpability. In today's gospel, the Pharisees present a woman to Jesus who was supposedly caught in the very act of adultery. But the real issue was not about the woman's guilt, but rather a trap set by the Pharisees to undermine Jesus Christ as a Jewish citizen and as the teacher of the law. Condemning her would violate Roman law, while letting her go would be seen as defying Mosaic law. So for an ordinary person, this particular scenario presents an inescapable dilemma. It cannot be answered by a yes or no, or by a true or false. Medyo mahirap lusutan itong ganitong katanungan. However, Jesus took this opportunity to highlight God's mercy and compassion, especially towards those who repent. His statement, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her, was not an implicit, implicit approval of adultery nor a dismissal of sin. Instead, it serves as a powerful reminder 
of God's mercy and that no one, no one has the authority to judge or condemn others. We have no right to cast the first stone, to be the judge, to be the jury and executioner, executioner of another's mistake. That is why I am always uh, happy to say that at the end of our lives, we will not be judged by a tribunal of our own peers, uh, but by God Himself. Imagine na lang kung pagkatapos na papasok pa sa langit, ang nakaupong mga hukom para makapasok pa sa langit ay yung kapitbahay mong galit na galit sa iyo palagi, yung taong kumukulo ang dugo sa iyo, yung taong hindi mo maipaliwanag kung bakit naging galit sa iyo, siya yung nakaupo doon at huhusga sa iyo para makapasok sa langit. For sure, marami sa atin ay hindi makakapasok sa langit. So our assurance, at least our consolation is that at the end of our life, we will not be judged by a tribunal of our own peers, but by God Himself. So in this holy season of Lent, let us focus on God's message of mercy. And we pray to live with less judgment and more compassion. In many ways, the final message of Christ to the woman is also applicable to all of us. Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. Prayers of the Faithful we remember the mercy that Jesus extended to the adulterous woman. Let us turn to him in prayer, reassured that we will be shown mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those alienated from God through sin may experience the loving mercy of our Savior. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may refrain from passing judgment on others but look instead at our own lives in the eyes of God. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that all of those weighed down by hardship and worry may realize that God is never far away from them. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the Lord may strengthen those who have been unjustly accused. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the disease may find happiness and peace in God's embrace. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for other intention. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to be forgiving toward people who treat us badly. May we show them the same compassion that your son Jesus extended to the woman caught in adultery. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. Oh, let all who are thirsty. Come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh let Come to me and drink, I will pour my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy.
Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and, and glory of His, of his name, name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful, sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your Church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Onest our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father in heaven, Lord, holy be your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Arnold Jansen's poem, Prayer to the Spirit. O Holy Spirit, animate us. Spirit of the Father, enliven us. Spirit of the Son, redeem us. Eternal love, penetrate us. With your fire, inflame us. With your grace, enlighten us. Living font, refresh us. From our sins, purify us. With your sweet anointing, strengthen us. Divine Consoler, sanctify us. By your grace, support us. Through your angels, guard us. With your grace, abide in us. God, Holy Spirit, hear us. By your light, direct us. Your virtues, infuse in us. With your gifts, strengthen us. With your fruits, refresh us. From the evil enemy, defend us. For our last struggle, fortify us. In the hour of death, sustain us. O call us then to come to you, that with your saints triumphantly, we praise the Father, Son, and you, benign consoler, eternally. Amen. In the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions. Lord Jesus Christ, we adore you as the Son of God, and through the prayer of your dear mother, we ask you to send us from the fullness of your loving heart the grace of the Holy Spirit to enlighten our ignorance, purify and make holy our sinful hearts, and keep us firm in his holy love. This we ask of you 
through the love of the Father and the Holy Spirit, through the abundance of your limitless compassion, and through the prayers of all your saints. Amen. given them bread from heaven containing in itself all sweetness let us pray oh god in this wonderful sacrament you have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption you live and rule world without end amen Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
Please be seated for some announcements. On March 24, Palm Sunday, there will be a procession and blessing of palms during the 9.30 a.m. Mass. Regular Mass schedule will also be observed. We also invite everyone to join our Holy Week recollection on March 21, Monday, Thursday, at 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. to be given by Father Algi Cantilia, SVT. For the full schedule of our Holy Week activities, please check our Facebook page or the posters outside. Thank you from Father Ronnie Chrysostoma, SVD Shrine Rector. Please stand. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.